Starting on Battlefield. Right, so I'm gonna try to be as unbiased as I can, but I'm definitely from <laughs> Delaware. Yeah. So uh, getting into the match. So tell me more about what you know about Snacks. Uh, Snacks is a very passive aggressive player. I've okay. tried to describe him. I wonder uh, if that'll be to his aid or uh, to his detriment against Samus. See, oh, that's the thing. It can, it, can, it can be that way. Like Johnny will definitely do try to do the smart and efficient thing. Yeah. Uh, I noticed that he's not over approaching. He's just trying to feel each other out right yeah. now. I do know. Good he's edge guard not, from Violence takes the first. Uh, yeah, he's not out. super experienced in this matchup that I that I know of because uh, nobody really plays Samus and DE anymore. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes you run into a matchup that you're not prepared for, uh -huh. and things can go bad. But it looks well, like he's going to be the stock. I think that might out. be it. Nope, Violence didn't quite secure yeah. the edge guard there. Yeah. Uh, nice he, he went for a lot. Uh, he tried to get some really perfect spacing on his up tilt, but he was just a bit too slow. Let's go, so Violence is definitely one of Johns Hopkins' strongest players. You can tell that they're trying to start off strong here. Um, I'm not sure if he or Fortune is a stronger player. Whoa, my goodness. I did not have the grapple could do that. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely roll into it. Uh, the grab box is active for a long time. Yeah, that's crazy. He's crouch canceling. Oh, that could cost him. What? Going under. Interesting nice tactic. Recovery. All right, so Johnny takes the first stock for uh, University of Delaware students. You're trying to be a bit too creative there. you got to be so careful yeah. in crew battles because every stock counts, and you don't want to be throwing them away like that. Yeah. He's very, when he does approach, he approaches a little bit reckless. Uh -huh. And so not something you want to do against Samus. Definitely. You don't want to trade. Oh, wow. Ever. That could be a quick stock already. It is. Wow. Bottom six, another stock. I think that was the reckless approach you were talking about right yeah. there. He just got caught off quick and died at See, uh, with six Samus, and six. When Samus is at 0%, she can crouch cancel anything in the game. Definitely. Even a Falcon Punch, she's not moving. Uh, the armor is very heavy indeed. And she's just going to slide and then hit you with a down smash usually. Yeah. <laughs> Violence trying to put that Windmill of Fury on him. Seeing those dash attacks. See, he keeps running in. I don't know if he's trying to run coach with a shine or yeah. just trying to nair too close, but I'm really surprised he hasn't been using his laser game at all. Yeah, at this point, running. he just seems like he's really trying to figure out a, an angle of approach, yeah, and none of it's right working. There. He, he sits back for a second, and then he runs, Ooh. usually straight into a hitbox. Yeah. This matchup can just be so confusing sometimes. When you get all those moves crash yeah, cancel, you just don't know what to do. It's, it's really bad, especially if you don't know it, have no experience. That should be it for Violence. Yeah, unless he really messes Ooh, this up. Oh, interesting. Oh, just got the tip of the nair. Uh, Takes the first four stocks, only losing one of his own. A very good start for Johns Hopkins. So let's see who Delaware is going to send in for their counter pick. It looks like they're sending in Squilliam. Squilliam, Or Will, okay. William, Squilliam. <laughs> Violence looking for a handshake. Leaving him hanging. <laughs> that awkward moment this is going to be on the most <laughs> awkward handshakes. <laughs> Maybe he should turn around. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. All right. Welcoming to the, welcoming him to the battlefield, as it were. Yes. Uh, so who does Squilliam mean? Squilliam is a Peach player. Peach. Ah, interesting counterpick against Samus. Yeah. There is no timer in play, so uh, this could be a long match. But we'll yes, see how it goes. Definitely. <laughs> Peach versus Samus. Um, it's not a very spectator-friendly matchup. <laughs> do you think would he would counterpick Dreamland as a stage, or do you think he would favor something like FD? Or maybe even I'm Battlefield. Thinking I, think, I don't think any of these stages are particularly bad. Perhaps Battlefield. Yeah, perhaps Battlefield. Uh, I doubt he'll try picking a, a really small stage like Yoshi's, so that's out of the question. Maybe uh -huh. Fountain of Dreams, but then Samus' recovery, because the grapple. Coming in gets to pick the stage. Yeah, I know. Right. I'm just him the oh, okay. Right. I thought they were going to strike again. I was really confused there. Had to make sure they knew the uh, stage rules. John, Johnny gives me this look, uh, snacks, like I just got wrecked on Dream. Really? Nice. Right. It's William trying to hang on to his lives. Going to Dreamland. Only one stock off for yeah. violence. So. Okay, I figured this might happen. All right, rocking that daisy. All right, and getting into the match. <laughs> there we go. First Instantly thing, hitting each other with yeah. their preferred projectiles. Yeah, the first thing, exactly. The first thing we saw is uh, basically a description of this match. We saw <laughs> uh, both use their best projectile, followed Ooh, by a neutral air trade. Yeah. <laughs> Back in the aggressive, very... the aggression that I'm seeing from Squilliam already. That he's not afraid to go in there and get those hits on Samus, but he's not yeah. committing to anything either. So. A lot of for the longest time, probably until the Armada era, actually, people believe that this was, some people still do believe this is in favor of Samus, 
simply because she gets around the stage better. Her mobility is better. I really haven't watched much in the matchup, so I'm interesting, interested to see how it goes. Oh my goodness. I've seen this matchup in the past, especially between uh, Hugs and Bada. Uh -huh. And I forget who it was, but somebody, another commentator, I think it was Homemade Waffles, or it might have been Scar, somebody on the West Coast, they, they said that every time it looked like Hugs was figuring out the match. Oh, very good nice patience. guard shot. That was some very good patience. He uh, waited until Peach came back with a laggy air dodge, I think it was, yeah. and just... He said that every time uh, Hugs was figuring out the matchup, he would, the matchup was over. Yeah. But in this case, again, since there aren't a lot of Samuses in DE, and I think John Hopkins, they, they probably scouted a bit of the players in DE, and they knew, they they probably know there's there's no way they're going to be prepared for the Samus being thrown in right off the bat. On top of that, Violence is a very strong player. So this is a very good pick by John Hopkins. His, uh, his William is definitely, he's looking a very lost, kind of. He's yeah. Good nair, though. Yeah, very good nair. Covered some good uh, good tendencies on the stage there. He figured uh, Samus was going to try and regain straight. center stage really quick, so he stuck a nair out there. Yes. But once again, unlike singles in a crew battle, you have to be very careful with every stock, because every stock matters. Yeah, definitely. It's not just about winning this one match. And uh, I've heard in the past from some NorCal players that Violence has a tendency to SD or to lose stocks pretty quickly. I think we saw that on that last game in Battlefield, but uh, yeah. he's got to make sure he holds down his stocks here so he can make this run last as long as possible. Yeah, Squilliam hasn't caught on to the missile and the charge shot. I believe that's the second time he's got hit by it. And just like that, the game is tied up. And the stock deficit seems to be uh, completely void at this point. Not only that, he's got a lead. Good up tilt. He's doing a very good job just keeping control of the center. Yeah, Violence is getting a lot of leverage off his charge shots too, so uh, anytime Skillian gets knocked away, that's a free opportunity to charge. Even if you're not going to kill on this stage, that might actually be to your benefit because you get more time to charge those charge shots. Yeah, so. so. I wonder if Skillian will ever strategically DI worse oh. just so his opponent doesn't have a chance to charge, but uh, we'll see. Beam sword in effect, nice oh my goodness. He's using it too. Yeah, Peach is, uh, He's putting it to work. <laughs> I'm, is, uh, I'm really curious to see how long he can oh, hold on to that. No. Oh no, it's Very on the map. Is Violence going to pick it up? Is he going to chuck it off? Oh, he's yeah. going to use it. Oh, he just threw it. I think it might still be on the stage though. It is. <laughs> And it's William's like, I'll take that back. <laughs> it's oh my goodness. Oh, oh and the beam sword goes down. not to that charge shot at all. We had a beam sword in the melee games. Yes. That's some hype. <laughs> Sakurai would really be enjoying this. <laughs> Too bad nothing much came of it, but we did see a little, uh, little yes. swings of that sword from Daisy. My Skoyim really needs this stock. Uh, I think really for the team. Like, if he doesn't close this out, it's going to be really hard for a U of D. But it's, it's in those looking pressure grim. situations where you really want to step up to the plate. Yeah, it's looking grim for the away team. Peach is definitely one stock. of those people. She's one of those characters where R and Jesus can kind of bless her as you <laughs> saw with the beam sword. Yeah. There, there do exist special turnips she can pull. They could turn the situation right around. As again, he goes for the charge shot. Missile to the face, but she's going to survive it. Dreamland being his saving grace right now. Because Peach is so slow of violence, he can't all the time in the world to oh, get those charge shots. And, and that's going to make the difference. The high hill shoes. Already, violence has taken eight stocks. Wow. Wow. Incredible. So Delaware just needs to take one stock off this menace of violence. Yes. And after that. Um, it looks like they're sitting at another Peach. Wow, okay. Perhaps thinking it's a better counter pick option for them. Uh, violence did look like he had a lot of tricks against the Spaces, so mm -hmm. they're not trying to waste those. Yes. Spaces are, uh, in a crew battle, if you think about it like chess, spaces are definitely like the, the very good, like the queen piece, you know? Yeah. Well, they can do so much that you really want to be careful not to let your queens get, like, get captured. Yeah. Perhaps they're also trying to use them now because uh, they know that, for actually, Fortune did lock Falco in this tournament, so we, I, I, I believe he locked Falco, which is yeah. surprising because his strongest characters are his Puff and his Fox, but maybe that's, that's just surprised. a balance out the teams. So I was gonna say maybe they're saving their spaces to play. Maybe they're saving like foxes to play against Puff later yeah, on. But, uh, because uh, uh, the Fox, really Falco, more tip, more conventional characters you see a lot. Uh, a lot of all the Delaware uh, players have experience against. Uh huh. 
but Samus is extremely rare. Another dream lane choice. I think after seeing the last game, that's a pretty good option for Peach, but uh, you yeah. just got to worry about getting knocked away and eating those charge shots. Yeah, I think uh, Andrew just has to play there it is. extremely well. He's using that the large space of the stage to his advantage. He realizes that Peach isn't going to come in and punish him quick, so maybe this isn't such a good counter pick after all. Yeah. Oh, he catches him back in the lane. Good fearless forward here to catch the roll. He's, he's, playing very, yeah, he's playing very conservative on those edge guards. Yeah, he's trying not to take any risks. Oh, he catches him jumping. He probably could have grabbed ledge. Yeah. Oh, violence. I have a feeling that that was a, in, like, a bit of a tech club. I think that's a critical area, area you see a lot from players is just not taking the ledge when they have a chance. There's so many stocks that you can take yeah. that people just let let slide and let their opponents get back for free. Yeah, it's the nerves, I think. Like yeah, The definitely. nerves will often dictate what you do. I've definitely done that in tournament. You just get in that, ex get in that moment where you're like, oh man, I really hope I don't mess up this kill. I don't want to do anything risky and uh, put myself off the stage. But really, that's what you got to do to Yeah, that's actually the safest, because the ledge is the safest place for your opponent. Unlike yeah. in uh, fight it, additional fighters like Street Fighter, when you get in the corner, it's bad in, in, in Smash games, particularly Melee. If you grab the ledge, it's actually the safest place most of the time. Yeah, maybe Are not you, Smash 4, but uh, definitely. Yeah, maybe not in Smash 4, but. I think Mewtwo King demonstrates that in Melee with a Sheik, you know. Yes. You can't approach him. Oh, he catches and Violence him. with nine stocks. Delaware really wanted to take that stock before they lost another, but yeah. that's a crucial loss. And that forward air should yeah, finish he it takes off. The stock. Oh man, it's so rough getting those JBs and crew battles. Yeah. But a good job to Henry to take that stock. So, so let's see. Oh, they're, are they going to send in Fortune already? Nah, he's stepping past the TV. I thought he might be stepping up. I think they're discussing Hopkins, it. Thinking about the counter pick. Trying to figure out who's the best against uh, against a solid looking Peach right now. Yes. It looked like he, well, I know actually since he used to play a bit longer than Squilliam, uh, before my brother quit playing, he used to play Samus, mm -hmm. uh, and he's played against Henry a bit in the past, so he has a little bit, he's a little bit more familiar with the character. Plus, there was another uh, Samus player who graduated a year ago, mm -hmm. uh, who used to play around the same time Henry was a freshman. So okay. he has a bit more Samus experience in his belt. I'm actually wondering why they didn't send him in sooner. Perhaps they were trying to save him. Yeah, interesting. So it looks like they're going to uh, fix a little rumble issue. I think Violence likes to play with it on. Yeah. I don't know. Never mind, maybe he's turning it on. I think Locke was the same as that was here. They used to always have rumble on. Every time I would sit down in the setup, I'd be like, man, <laughs> got to turn that off again. Right. See, that's the thing with crew battles. You have to be very careful with every decision you make. Yeah. All right, going Sheik. Good counter pick against Peach. All right, Henry has to forfeit his first stack. He lost it. And uh, I'm surprised he didn't actually. No, I'd say this is probably his best stage choice in Battlefield. It's yeah. a good option. I was originally going to say I'm surprised he didn't go FD, but Peach just gets such heavy punishes if you can actually from the air. So. Yes. Uh, yeah, good I'll stuff. Crouch cancel down smash. Keeping off the pressure. Got to be careful about that crouch. Very good combination Peach, from two, two, Henry two. right there. Two, 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 two. Okay, so this is Tom Berry from uh, Johns Hopkins. Tom Berry. Playing pretty patiently so far. Two. Yeah. I mean, you kind of, that's kind of how the map is played. Like, well, with most characters, you don't want to take that trade with Peach. Yeah. She's definitely, uh, kind of. I like seeing Henry go for these aggressive edge guards, but. And the booty takes the first yeah. stack. Good stuff from Henry. Yes. I caught him with the Nicki Minaj back air. <laughs> definitely. This should be it. Oh, misses oh, that. Yeah, he didn't react to the DI away. Yeah, he's just got to throw himself at Peach a little more. Now there's some interesting combos in effect. He, could, he might be able to get a jab to up air or a jab to up air even at higher percents. So. Nice there from Conberry getting out of that follow up from Peach. Interesting. Putting himself off the stage kind of took away a little bit of his follow up options there. Yeah. Henry's playing really uh, smart, really safe right now. Yeah. He's doing a good job of just uh, getting Tom Berry to approach from above him. That's going to be a stop. Yeah, I've noticed Tom Berry's trying to camp on that top platform, but uh, that ain't Falco. <laughs> yeah, you That's can't. not a good spot for him. He can't approach from up there. Yeah, all I'm thinking when I see him up there is he's about to get. Yeah, Sheik really doesn't want to try and come from above. But, uh, that's the strategy we're seeing from Tom Berry. Really interesting. 
Oh, he's caught with a saucer down smash. Yeah, I'd say for Perch on the ledge there. Could be a little bit of nerves from Tom Berry. I think Tom Berry's doing a better job with his patience when he's on the floor, but you see him spot dodging right there. Definitely looks like he's nervous. Yeah. It's a big pressure situation playing on Xander here on the stream in front yeah. of all your school. You don't want to disappoint anyone. Yeah. Your sometimes, battles are definitely stressful. Yeah, sometimes crew battles can be more oh, on the battlefield. Uh, unfortunate for Henry. Very unfortunate. <laughs> Hits him with the frying pan. Let's go. We cooking. So we are cooking. Uh, nice four there. That's going to close the stock. Yeah, that just has no chance of working when your opponent can flip indefinitely. Just about. <laughs> We had a chance for a punish right there. Chose to roll away instead. Guess what? A chance for a dash attack or er, for a boost grab there, and he went for the dash attack instead. That's something I see from a lot of newer sheiks. Just not taking their boost grabs when they have the openings. Yeah. Instead, they're just uh, hardwired to do those dash attacks. Uh, maybe work against people who don't have quite as good shield timing or quite as good movement. Yeah. It's, it's definitely not a top level winning strategy. Oh. And Henry off the stage again. Ooh, yeah. goes straight back on the stage. Yeah. Henry is just, uh, looks like he's making a bit of tech fubs. A full jump there, a down smash when uh, Tom Berry wasn't that close. Yeah. Tom Berry's really bringing this back. I think ever since he stopped trying to come from above, he's been doing a much better job. Yeah, oh, on the battlefield. Oh my goodness. Again. Counter picks in play. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Very unfortunate. I'm not sure if Henry's aware that you can't hold in in certain uh, positions. Yeah. Man, that stage is wacky. I don't know what happened there. Maybe he was holding down. Maybe he was trying to fast fall something. But um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that's eight stocks left for Delaware. So. Yeah, things are going really good for John Hopkins. It's looking really bad for uh, the home team. Well, my home team. <laughs> yeah. Early away team here. I guess Johns Hopkins is uh, Baltimore's home team. They're from Baltimore. So. Yeah. Same dude's not technically in Baltimore, right south of it. But uh, they probably have the shortest commute of any uh, of any school to get here. So. Yeah. Cool. All right. Who's this for uh, Delaware right now? This is Adam. Adam, okay. His tag is Adam. All right, Adam. <laughs> and, Plain uh, and simple. Not sure why that's the case. Maybe he's planning on moving to the West Coast at some point. I know yes. they don't like tags out there. They like names. <laughs> we <laughs> had a lot no, of people no, no, like no that from College Park, too. We have Wenbo. We had Big Wens. I guess yeah. he added the big, so that kind of counts. CTL is just his initials. Dequo was his first initial last name. Like. <laughs> Yeah. There are a lot of players from College Park that just ended up using their names. But, uh. All right, the countdown Go. begins. Adam's got a lot of stocks he needs to take, but if he's adept at the Sheik matchup, it could be, you know, it could be easy for him. We'll see. College Park shout, let's go SG. <laughs> the classic shout. Tom Berry doing well so far. Uh, a little bit more patience would have helped him react to that spot dash. Yeah. Good spot dodge is super good jab pressure. That's a oh. stock already. And Adam already lost his first stock. He seems to just be putting out hitboxes. Not really cognizant of what he's doing at the moment. Yeah, he's just got to use that yeah. gun and uh, really be patient, not trying to overcommit against Sheik. And uh, especially don't flub any tech skill because Sheik's going to punch you hard every time. Yes. That shield is too big, that grab is too strong. The tech chases, the combos. Yeah. You don't want to mess with it. Yeah. For her size, her overall character size, she actually has a really big shield. Oh, definitely. Really lending itself well to her play style. Good back air by Adam. That should be a stock. And Adam takes his first stock. That's it. Delaware's just chanting one more, dude. Oh. oh. And Battlefield has taken more stocks from, uh, <laughs> yeah. from Johns Hopkins than anything, or from Delaware than anything, probably. Yeah, in these last two games, I believe Battlefield has taken three stocks. I mean, that wasn't the stage's fault, but you know. No, it definitely <laughs> wasn't. Good wave dash. Very good job reading that roll in, picking up on a Sabbath already. Uh, just an unsafe uh, recovery. He really should have went for the ledge yeah. there. Tom had no chance of yeah. grabbing the ledge, so. It could be nerves. Yeah, he might have been afraid of going too low, like he lost the stock that other time, so. Yeah. Interesting up smash. Yeah. Now you see him losing, using the lasers a bit. Yeah. He can't just run in like that. You have to set up your attacks. You can't just run it. Spot that shine. Hit him with that KGH. Yeah, KGH. KGH. <laughs> Interesting devs. Nice retreating there. Thought he might get an aerial out of it. Oh, he really wants the stock. Couldn't follow up the downer. Good tilt. 
He's got to be very careful he yeah. doesn't get thrown off that downer. It might seal the deal if he grabs the ledge. Well, he takes the stock with That was the it. He, he had that downer out super hard, and that took the stock. Yes, but the Tonberry has already done the job, done more than the job. Well, actually, Violence really did like most yeah. of the job, but did Tonberry job. definitely cemented the hole a, even deeper. <laughs> yeah, cemented a huge lead for them. Too. Yes. Now, I won't say this kind of comeback is impossible. It's just reaching the point where <laughs> you would start calling it in improbable. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be easy. Uh, with Fortune sitting and waiting, I think Fortune's trying to send in some of his other players right now to give him a chance. So uh, we'll yes. see how they do. Might see some momentum swing back in Delaware's favor. Yes. And uh, I'm not Thomas familiar with the off. player they're sending in. Yeah, neither am I. Uh, I, d I think I've seen him here before, but anybody who knows me knows I'm good with faces and bad with names. Yeah, likewise. All right, so back to Battlefield. It's looking like a tri-state Ubo. <laughs> Definitely. Well, I think when you look at FD and Dreamland, which are the other stages, they're really quite extreme, so everybody right. just likes Battlefield for its neutrality. In a regular tournament set, you were probably going to play there anyways, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> All right, not sure what's going on with the overlay, but uh, we do have a battle here. Yeah. Um, this is the crew battle. This is not a friendly. <laughs> Gimmer. There we go. Right. We love you, Gimmer. So we got Stranger Danger from Johns Hopkins. Yeah. <laughs> this stranger is in danger of taking out Adam Stock very quickly. Uh, a little bit more patience for him. See, so, you know, a lot of these guys run straight in with their attacks, whether it's a grab or an up smash. Yeah. A little bit more dash chance they can have the reaction. Yeah, lot. you're not seeing a lot of very good neutral or a lot of straight, like, mind games or... That should be a stock for Adam. Oh, Great down Adam here. takes a stock. Every stock is really important in this play. Yeah, good stuff, oh, but that should do he it. he gets taken out. And Adam, so quick very match. disappointed look in his face. And, uh... Delaware with one player left, yeah, I think. Austin, perhaps the strongest player on this crew. All right, let's uh, see how far Austin can take him. The, like, the perhaps the biggest gap in skill is between Austin and whoever is the second best. Okay. Uh, but he's got a job to do. He's got to take out uh, this guy and I believe two other players. If he Yep, that's correct. Yes. So, again, not impossible, but definitely at the improbability point. I hey mean, you got to believe. <laughs> oh, I always have faith. Absolutely. Especially in Austin. Can never give uh, up. You owe Delaware. <laughs> the Irish version of Delaware. Yeah, you owe Delaware. <laughs> Interesting up smashes. Went for a quick thunders there. You could definitely tell the difference in tech skill just from watching uh, Elon's dash dances. Very yes. crisp looking right now. Pratt was definitely uh, oh. the most experienced actually going out to tournaments and done pretty well. He's gotten top three, top, you know, top placing at, at in-state and out-of-state tournaments. Won a few of our, uh, our Delaware tournaments. All right, you want looking very strong right now. Good thunders. There's the one he wanted last stock. Falling up is very creative stuff right now. Great dash dance. Good stuff by Yuan. He's looking like... <laughs> <laughs> he looks smooth as butter right now. I don't now. know if we can repeat what uh, the moon just said. But yeah, <laughs> we can definitely not repeat that. Great f -smash. Oh, and he's taunting. No fear. Let's go. Trying to bring some hype back for his school. He's saying it was all part of the plan to get you overconfident. Yeah. And now he's going to steamroll through the I see Fortune thing. over there. Fortune might be sweating in his boots a little bit. Yeah, he wasn't expecting this level of tech skill from a fox, especially when he's locked in his falcon. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, is that going to be he it? He is talking right now. <laughs> Christmas booties. Green and red. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> and wow. Austin just a clean three stack. steamrolls the stranger. A clean three stack. stack. All right. That was wow. very clean. Um, Yuan was a stranger to me, and that was some dangerous play, so uh, I think yeah. the tag holds true. Oh, and Fortune looks like he's, oh no, not for. this is not Fortune. Uh, Fortune and Content to oh, win I on the Oh, I think this line. is Nate. Okay, Nate's this on their team. Nate. Nate's a very strong player as well. Um, he's one of the, uh, one of the Dodge Austin. family. <laughs> Austin's feeling the hype. I see him tapping in his seat. He knows what's at stake. He knows what he's got to do. He's taking breaths. He's, you know, centering himself. Uh -huh. And he doesn't look afraid of the moment. In fact, just knowing what I know about Austin, he probably welcomes the challenge. He would probably rather be in the situation where he has to make a comeback for the team than be way up ahead and go in. Yeah, now Nate's a very strong uh, 
and technical spaces player. So let's see how they two do against All each right, other. So another Fox Ditto. Yep, they're already off to it. Not wasting any time. Or they're hand warming. Um, I guess they're hand, hand warming. warming. Oh. oh no, fight! Never mind, they're into it. <laughs> Feeling each other out. All right. Sometimes you can't tell the difference in Fox Ditto's. Both these Foxes looking very fast at the gate right now. <laughs> Oh, that could be a quick stock. Oh, oh, and he tucks. He gives him the tricks and then gives him the kicks. Good stuff by Yuan. He is moving. Fortune's got to be sweating in his boots a little. I hope he's taking this. <laughs> <laughs> and the moon is definitely making a lot of the people from MDBA nervous. Yeah. I have faith in, uh, oh. in Nate to take at least one stock. Oh, did I speak too soon? That oh. should be it. Dude, oh, he tried if that to disrespect worked. Him. If that worked, I would have screamed. That was ridiculous. I just love and how fearlessly Yuan's playing yeah. right now. He's Yuan not afraid that his team is down all these stocks. He's just... No. He's just trying to demoralize them. Which yeah. might be working to his advantage. He is scary. <laughs> he is scary. It's going all right. TK Breezy. Right. Stepping over here. And, uh... Oh, he gets stuck in his shine there. Could have got a very dangerous punish, but... You can tell Nate just really wants to take one stock before Fortune has yeah. to go on. Oh, oh, that's not going to help. And the nerves. And he's taunting again. This guy with the disrespect. Come on, yeah. one stock. That should be it. He's got to get a good rising bear. Oh. Nice. See and the Fortune deal. is sweating on the sideline right now. <laughs> he does not want to go in against this fox. Nah. The truth is, Fortune doesn't fear anyone. Fortune, uh, if you think he wants playing cocky right now, Fortune can play twice as cocky. So... <laughs> I, I, don't think you guys, I don't think you guys know about the uh, the Austin yes. level of cockiness. Hey, I didn't know until yes. now, and uh, I'm this learning. <laughs> I'm learning for sure. Kid. This fox fears nothing right now. No, he's he trying doesn't. to be really patient, but he's off the stage. Oh, just far away enough to avoid the F smash. That almost worked. <laughs> I thought he was going to follow it up with a shot. Oh, oh my oh, goodness! Oh, oh, oh. The hard three. Oh my god! That's the up smash that just makes you feel <laughs> bad afterwards. Awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I can't right now. Uh, he really knocked the spit out of him. Yeah. I saw it flying can't. out of his mouth. Oh my goodness. I saw yeah, Fox TK. like, I saw him with he a can. bloody, Kicks. I saw him with a building. bloody face. His nose, his teeth were knocked out. Dude, that up oh smash was God. brutal. And Austin, uh, he's looking confident. And Fortune is coming in with his Falco. Let's go, Austin. A very interesting character dude, lock Fortune. I don't even want to commentate, dude. I want to go out there. I want to yell. <laughs> that was nuts. My son. This guy's bringing it back for, for, uh, for Delaware. Yes. It was looking, again, not impossible, but improbable. With the way, the way that Austin's been playing, playing, it's actually Austin, looking yeah. likely. Likely. I We're upgrading likely. it from impossible to improbable to likely. Yeah. He is down a stock against the third place Arcadian yeah. finisher for MBVA. But I don't know that Fortune went any um, any Fox or Puff for that tournament. Or, I mean, any he, uh, Falco for that tournament. he's locked in his Falco. So. Yeah, he went all Fox and Puff. But he's locked in his Falco he's got right a, now. Yeah. He's really contemplating his choice. I think he's thinking right now, uh, do I want to go Dreamland? Do I want to play the Campy game? Do I trust right. myself to go to FD? I'm not going to lie, dude. But, yo, yo, I got 20 on UD. What's up? Oh, side bets already. Even though he's down a stock? Dude, he's oh, just done. Okay. I don't know if anybody's taking on that. <laughs> trying to show off some shortens. All right. I think right. this is a very good choice of Dreamland. Trying to yeah. take something away from him. It's always prowess on Battlefield. One, yeah, so let's see what Fortune's Falco has. Already playing very aggressively. Oh. Fortune coming back with some good combos. Good follow-up game after that laser. All right, keeping it very patient right now. Oh, 20XX. Good aggression, though. Shine oh, oh, that's kicks. a stock already. Oh, my and goodness. And we got an even-up game. Is John Hopkins going to go oh. down already? John Hopkins is done. I'm calling it, dude. Oh my goodness, was that a triple shot? It was. This is insane. I've never seen anything quite like oh, this. Good string. That could be a stock, though. <laughs> Fighting back. Good patience, good back air. Oh, oh he's missing. Drops the edge guard, but a good drop off there. Yes. Caught him reaching. Very solid F tilt. Those tilts so good for spaces. He's. Very intense match right now. Both of these crews down to their last three yeah. stocks. He's trying to, he's, he's trying to slow air. things down. He's trying to cool Austin off. Yeah, Fortune's Austin is hot right now. Fortune chose this stage so he could play to his pace, so he's got to be very yeah. careful right now. Good shine. Right. Looks like Fortune's doing a good job. Not getting too nervous. Nice movement. A lot of the venues around here right now. Watching the last two to three stocks of this crew battle yeah. right now. 
it went from being very wide off to being very <laughs> close. I'm liking Fortune's patience right now. He's snubbing a lot of the aggression that we were seeing from Austin. Oh, oh. very good attempt at getting that low. Okay, uh, we have even stocks, but a percent deficit for Austin. He's yeah. got to get some damage off the stock. If not, take it entirely. Fortune's just got to keep playing his passive game and yeah. maximize those punishes as much as he can. Can't drop any stocks here. Oh, yeah, he missed an opportunity. I wonder if he went for, for that up tilt punish. again, if, uh, the, <laughs> if the up B would have actually fallen into the yes, up tilt. That hitbox. could have really been, if he had reacted to that, a free stock for him. Good man. Oh, great recovery, going straight to the ledge. Yeah, Falco with all the control yeah. over the upward options. Right, right now, oh, oh he overcharged. Flutter hush out of shield to cover that full hop there. <laughs> and the moon with Good a little patience. bit of uh, venue commentary right next to me. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so close to that edge guard, but not quite. Oh. A good back air catches him aggressively getting back to the oh, stage. What in the yes. world? Jeez. What in the world? And Fortune might Trying have to keep just, things interesting here. He might have just brought misfortune <laughs> to John Hopkins. <laughs> A very unfortunate mistake for sure. Yes, very unfortunate. And they're both down to their last stock. An inward roll from Fortune, but yes. Austin not covering it. Oh, my heart's pounding right now. I don't know who's going to take this. A full hop from Falco. This fox has got him against the edge, though. That could be it. This is it. That's it. And, and Delaware brings and back. He pops off. Oh my A god. A melee games miracle. Melee games miracle. Oh my goodness. You aren't looking like the best folks, player in the world. Folks, you gotta have hope. It does oh not matter god. how many stocks it's down your over. team is. It is. Uh, let's go. It doesn't matter if you're down four stocks or thirteen stocks. Oh I think my that was god. thirteen stocks. You never give up. Okay. Wow. Incredible. I don't believe it. Yeah, that fox is looking Fortune. freaking crisp. Dude, and that Falco fox. Master is impressed. Wow. I think that I blew fox out the mic. Away. So, uh, can you still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, good. So a very Yo, interesting kicks. character choice from Fortune. A suicide from Fortune. And just like that, Johns Hopkins is out. Oh, I think hey. had these dudes as number four seed or something like that. Wow, incredible. So, uh, wow. Wow. This is the kind of hype that crew battles bring, and this is the kind of hype that we're bringing to the collegiate circuit right now. So uh, if you want to check out more of these amazing Melee Games matches, maybe Gimmer will put up a, a beautiful graphic here in just a moment. If the bird knew how to fight, he would have never lost. <laughs> All right, yeah. So Ryan, bird, there was no Red Bull here. Yo, his, his wings got clipped, for real. Ooh. That bird was done. He was definitely missing some if Red Bull. It wasn't, yeah, yeah, if it wasn't done, like, if, if it wow. wasn't close, like, that SD, I think he was even like at zero. I'm still in disbelief. I can't believe they brought it back that many stocks. Amazing yeah. play from Delaware. So, wow. Congratulations. Yeah, I when he came in, the other team had 11 stocks. Yeah, uh, I think we're going to get started with some tournament matches pretty soon. But uh, I don't even let me see. Gamer, know if can you I'm put up that image real quick? Do right. we have replay? So uh, I'm just going to sign off here really quick. If you guys want to see more of that amazing crew battle action, definitely be following the Melee Games. If you want to check out all the schools that are competing from all the different regions, check out the MeleeGames.Challenge.com for the brackets. If you want to learn about upcoming matches, check out Facebook.com slash the Melee Games and at the Melee Games. Yeah. Um, that was some crazy hype. And um, if you're in one of these regions and you didn't enter this year, definitely keep an eye out next year. Uh, it's a great time. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. So uh, I'm going to sign off and go play some friendlies. So uh, all right. It was Thanks good commenting with you. Yeah, same. And I believe we're going to have, I don't know who's getting on. I have, who's getting, is anybody else getting on the mic? I mean, I'll rock, I can rock out solo. Sleeves can get on if he wants. Sleeves from Smash Studio Zone.